Well, if you're a mom or dad who needs encouragement or instructions on how to survive raising boys without expensive long-term medical coverage, have <laughs> we got a guest for you. Author, freelance writer, Jean Blackmer lives in Boulder, Colorado, and has managed to stay sane with her husband, Zane, and her, sorry about that, and her three <laughs> sons, Josh, Jordan, and Jake. She's written this book, Boisterous Living, Celebrating Your Loud and Rowdy Life with Sons. Jean, thank you for leaving the men and joining us on the couch. This has been a rough time. Yeah. You know, we are so glad that we can provide some female bonding yeah. time with you. I love it. And I love it. She was sitting in the chair today, and she was just—you could just see, like, oh, oh she was with us, ladies, and little like all the makeup, makeup and, and the hair. Like, she had her cup of tea. Yeah, it was kind of. It's oh, like a little mini vacation the room. Half <laughs> the half with women. I am, I am taking it all in. <laughs> love well, it, Jean. You you have a definition for boy that I just love because I have two sons I have okay. a daughter Andrea is older uh, in her 20s and then our two sons are 19 and 16 but I can so relate to your book and your definition is boy equals a door a, a noise with dirt on it yeah that's about <laughs> a noise with, a dirt, noise on with it. dirt on it we have pictures on our family room wall of the boys covered in mud you know mud balls on their head <laughs> you know they just love getting dirty and very what is it with boys loud. though because I know I had a girl first and I thought, okay, this parenting thing, I can do this. <laughs> it's a breeze. And then I had two sons, and all of a sudden, my house is a wreck because they're constantly wrestling. They're throwing cushions at each other. Yeah, they're yeah. taking things out and not putting them back. Yeah. And don't even talk to me about the bathroom. Like, oh, what is it no. about boys? We won't go there. Yeah. No. no. I know boys are full of energy and passion and adventure, and it's a constant... Um, just endless energy. Mm -hmm. Is that why you wrote yeah. the book? You just thought, I have to put this down because it's <laughs> yeah, just... Yeah. <laughs> I think when you meet other moms of boys, there's an immediate connection and you yeah. just have this camaraderie with each other because you get it. You're like, oh, I get your life. I get it. Mm -hmm. And to share those stories and have each other. That's why I wanted to write the book to encourage moms. I and dads your first boys. story of your son coming out of the shower. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. and you said, priceless. <laughs> Did you shave your eyebrows? <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> How old was he? He was probably seven. And, you know, I think he was carefully shaved his eyebrows off. And, you know, I think he watched his dad shave his face and copied that. And that was the only hair on his face. So he decided to <laughs> shave it off. And, <laughs> and your coping mechanism throughout the book is laughter. Yes. Yeah. Don't go ballistic, yeah. Mom. No. Just live I, in the moment. I yeah. think so. And I think having a sense of humor when you're raising boys especially mm -hmm. is so valuable because you'll fi find yourself in these situations like that where mm -hmm. your son comes out with his eyebrows gone <laughs> and you can either be very frustrated or you can just say this is funny I have to choose to laugh right now and, but that you is, don't know if you should laugh or yeah. you should scold like, right, you know right. where's the balance there because really That's I think true. most of us on the couch would just double over laughing <laughs> yeah. what did you do <laughs> yeah well, I think it's, yeah. it was funny because, you know, so much of it was what we were saying is about laughter. And so I'm reading to Pete, who comes from four boys, and um, his mom, Beth, is a hero because to raise her boys and, and the story she says. But it was funny because you mentioned how, you know, if you're going to get through this, you've got to read Calvin and Hobbes. And I showed that to <laughs> Pete, and he's like, absolutely. That is his favorite. We were actually laughing about that because in certain bathrooms across Canada, mm -hmm. in his friends' bathrooms... Our Calvin and Hobbes really? comics, it's a definite right beside boy book. the toilet, you know. <laughs> but I mean, it's so, it's such a boy book, and it so says so much about you know what boys are like. And so Pete really, I read some to Pete, and he laughed along because he goes, "That's exactly how." Our family was like wrestling and his mom going, why, why are you guys hurting each other? Like, we're not hurting, mom. We're just pounding yeah. him in the There's arm and the eye. You know? Yeah. Exactly. you know, I'd rather see them having these kind of adventures mm -hmm. than spending the six hours a day we are hearing of discretionary time in front of screens mm -hmm. with yeah. a mouse mm -hmm. yeah. some kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And Go and build a fort, fall out of a tree, you know. <laughs> Carefully. <laughs> and get that exercise, you know. Yeah, boys Use your just, imagination. They have a craving for adventure. And sometimes you can create it easily, you know, just mm -hmm. by going outside or going on a camping trip. or I mean, anything for a boy can become an adventure. Mm -hmm. And as moms, we can encourage that. Well, in mm -hmm. his book, Wild at Heart, I remember John Eldridge said that boys, like what you just said, are born needing to be the hero 
needing mm -hmm. to be the one that does the rescuing. So as a mom, how have you found that you are able, as a woman, to better encourage your sons to, because honestly, I'm, I'm the, the cautious one. I'm the one who says, don't climb too high in the tree, honey. You might fall and break an arm. Like, you know, but right, right. you have to be able to say, oh, have fun, be careful. Have yeah, fun. be careful and safety first. We always say safety first. I think there's a difference between being fearless and foolish. And fearless is sort of bold and brave and courageous. And foolish is doing something without really thinking about it. And so we talk to our boys about the differences of being fearless and foolish and mm -hmm. encourage the kind of fearless but well thought out adventures. Mm -hmm. Do you think that some of the, I, I wish we could just read the whole two pages of interesting things you discover when you have sons. The first one, the first one says, a king size waterbed holds enough water to flood a 2,000 square foot house four oh. inches deep. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like this. It wasn't my house. That one was not. <laughs> but don't you think, we have to remember, you know, you're encouraging safety, but that, that consequences part of the brain isn't developed. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. uh, through the child rearing years, that part we have to help them out a little bit with. Even yes. through the teen years. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Really. It takes a while. Yeah, it takes communication. Yeah. And that's a, you know, being able to talk through some of those things and talk about what will happen if this or that and just being able to really keep mm -hmm. the communication open. Mm -hmm. I have a yeah. two and a half year old boy and I love what you said here. You said, um, uh, focusing uh, that we should focus on or we shouldn't focus on who the, who they'll become yeah. rather mm -hmm. enjoying who they are today and yeah. I thought you know I, I watch Ethan do things like that or yeah. you know jump off the couch or things and I think you know I want him to be this and I want him to be that and I, I think what you said is so true we just have to enjoy who they are today and just mm -hmm. really take that moment in I think so I think as parents we're always thinking about what we want for our boys in the future and what yeah. we want them to become. But yeah. really, we need to live in the moment that yeah. we are with them and that and enjoy that every single minute. And I think it's going to last forever <coughs> when you're in that trench. Yeah. But oh my, it's suddenly oh. so gone, so mm -hmm. far gone. Yeah. Well, Jean, you're talking to three women on the couch. Melinda, mm -hmm. your time is, is coming, yeah, eventually. Yeah. Right now, I live vicariously through you all. <laughs> yeah. And you know through what? my husband, Peter. Yeah, she's but married yeah, to a boy. I am married yeah, to a boy. She's married to a boy. <laughs> so a twin, too. A twin, Peter yeah. has a twin, yeah. twin brother. And Melinda, I would love to see you have a house full of sons. Because, I mean, you've got the high heels <laughs> yeah. and the curls and the frou-frou. Oh, and oh, the I know. That's love it. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? But no, the three of us here all have sons. In fact, um, we have some pictures to share oh, of good. our sons. First, we're going